make sure that I didn't back out as well, and I'm excited to do this, so. People who'd passed away in my life previously were, were older, and this, him being so young, um, has really opened my eyes to how widespread cancer is. And I, I think I had heard about cancer previously in young people, but just thought it would be very strange. You know, it's like someone hitting the worst kind of lottery. But now I realize that it's happening to young people uh, of all stripes, and it's happening everywhere. And uh, once you've had it touch your life and you hear the, the big C, uh, once you've had that in your life once, you start noticing that it's touching everyone. And uh, when I lost my best friend, that's, you know, it's, not something you ever get over, but it's definitely something that motivates you to want to try and do what you can to try and help others. I was really glad to participate in the Bald is Beautiful Day. Uh, on October 17th, 2012, my best friend passed away from pancreatic cancer, his young man, best man at my wedding, and uh, that really rocked my world and uh, if there's anything I can do to participate in raising awareness about uh, how devastating this disease is and anything we can do to try and speed up finding a cure then uh, you know I'm, I'm in so when they asked me if I wanted to shave my head uh, I thought that'd be great so it's, it's uh, the least I can do. Well I am doing this for my friend Alex because he has a brain tumor as cancerous and found out in February and it made me like I cry, maybe we're upset. We've known each other since kindergarten, so we have a great friendship between us. So it kinda hurts to like, know that he has, that he's sick. And so it makes it a little sad but we're being strong about it. He's a really great friend. We actually plan on going to prom together next year, which is awesome. And I can't picture my life without him, so just we just got to stay strong and um I know he can pull us real. This cancer. <laughs> I've known people that have had cancer, but it, it hasn't really affected me until this summer. When my four-year-old grandson was diagnosed with leukemia. It was kind of a shock to go from him being sick and within one week knowing that he was going to be in treatment for three and a half years. Now I'm lucky because at the end of the three and a half years he should be cancer free. <laughs> and the doctor said that he was the right age and had the right kind. It's hard news to hear. But his hair is growing back, but you're all happy. He's full of energy, and he's handled his treatments really, really well. So we're wishing him the best, and hopefully when he's seven, it'll be all behind him. Hi, dude. I'm doing this for my grandson. Hi, Bald is beautiful. It demonstrates strength and gives hope to all. Thanks, Harborview. Say, Max, you're next. As part of our video, we're gonna get all of you guys to stand up. You guys do that? Two, one. Ah!